the way that this is going to be working is people are going to upload their YouTube videos privately on a, or, or publicly on YouTube and we get to see this. <laughs> New meta Nilu Bloom team with EM charge shot Tartalia. Totally legit. And it's a bit of a showcase. Let's have a look. Okay, we got a nice temple of wisdom. Oh, yow yow. Jesus. Okay. Charge shot Tartalia. Wait, I'm confused. What is Tartak adding to this team? Because he's got a crap load of EM, is it the is it the core damages? Reptide does double bloom. <sighs> what? That was a 60k bloom. The Tartak damage though, I'm surprised about it, dude. I didn't think it'd be that high. You can run. Pretty damn nice, dude. Honestly, GG. That is uh, that is nothing to shy away at. Now, there is a couple of other things here from Gab as well. Did you know Kaching is a cryo character with Electro in her kit? Oh, I should have known when I saw the Chong Yun. Oh, Ayaka who? <laughs> okay, that. Okay, okay, listen. That that damage. That. <laughs> it's fine. We ignore that damage. The ult damage doesn't count. It's it's for style. Cryo King, Kakryo. That is insane, dude. And then the final one from Geb. Did you know C6 Farazan is an actual character? Well, now you do. I don't know what that means. Wait, is this gonna be Hyper Carry Farazan? <laughs> what did you feed her? I mean, I guess she was hungry, having like probably not eaten for like a hundred years, but still. Okay, yeah, no, that's actually kind of insane, dude. Holy beast. Thank you for sharing that, Gab. That was that was impressive as hell. Next, we have the one and only Pepsa. Pretty uncommon build for Tartag. Both his weapons and artifacts buff his normal attack. This showcases without food as well. I guess there's multiple, some with, some without. Okay, here we go. When he crits, he crits, dude. But he did crit much. <laughs> and he had 62% crit. Holy. Okay. Yeah, so this is the this is the build. Do we get to see it with food as well? We do. Okay, so this is with food. Here we go. What? <laughs> you couldn't eat the food just before. Why didn't you just eat? Why didn't you just use it before starting the fight? It, it lasts five minutes, not five seconds. Holy! Bro, I love how Tartag, even with that food, which was crit rate by 12%, so he was at like 75 crit rate. Still so many missed crits. Look at that. Wait. Good amount of crits there. Oh, actually, no, you know what? That's about right. But all of those missed, dude. Oh, God, Tartag. Jesus. That's an interesting one, though. Yeah, Tartag just doesn't crit. That, that's a fun build, though. That's an interesting one. Then we have Tactical Nuke. Oh, Jesus Christ. Okay. Did you know Yoimiya has AoE? Yoimiya don't have AoE, dude. I, listen, I, you can build crack characters. You can't add parts to a kit that isn't there. Yoimiya is not AoE. I, I don't believe it. Okay, this is a fun team. Oh my god, the da- This motherfucker made Yoimiya an AoE character. With supports, obviously, but that damage, dude, that was like a 45 second clear. For triple Kenki and Abyss. The next one is no cooldown Faruzan. Faruzan, but zero cooldowns in Spiral Abyss? Hmm? Wait, 
What? Wait, is this because of the double animal and one electro in Nahida's ult? Wait, how is this a thing? How does she just have no... Wait, four-piece Thundering Fury? She has literally no cooldown. By the time you've done the double charge shot, she's done. Oh my god. That's kind of pog. That's a that's a that's a fun looking fire zen. And then there is one more from Tactical Nuke, which is Sucro Salad Gaming. Jesus Christ. Wait, why did the normal attacks look so quick there? A Sucrose's normal attacks that fast? Decent clear time with this as well. I mean, well, kinda. Kinda. You're not gonna clear the next floor for 36 star, but still. Yeah, it's a it's a pretty fun one. It's a pretty fun one. Okay. Uh GG, those were some fun ones. Those are pretty good. Okay, we have Roosevelt next, which is Delusion Kaya. I have a feeling this is just gonna this is gonna be the same or at least very, very similar to my Frostfire Kaya. I have a feeling this is gonna be uh, C6 Bennett with Kaya. My good old Frostfire Kaya build. Or Delusion Kaya as it's called here. Don't get frostbite. Cool it. Oh my lord, that damage. Yep, it is though. It is. It's beautiful, dude. Oh my god. With Kazu and Zhongli, that shit is beautiful. I gotta add those to the team, dude. I have to. That damage is stunning with those two. Next, we have a Diano showcase just for fun. The build is included in the end. Oh god, how are you? Wait, is this? Is this Mel Diano? <laughs> what is wrong with you? <laughs> that was only with 58 EM? That is a crack build. Oh no, dude. So I tried the AFK Dea build with the full ocean clam set. I felt bad for Dea on this video. It's a four minute video. <laughs> Your mommy teach you that? Your mommy teach you that? No, you didn't teach me shit, no. This... I mean, this... <laughs> Don't jump, it'll cancel your ult. This is the definition of crack build. Where's the damage? Oh, there it is. It took a while. It took a while. Is that all you've got? Yeah, you know, I'm starting to wonder the same with this build. Oh my god, it's literally just AFK for four minutes, dude. I can't believe it. Oh, oh. That's insane, dude. That is actually insane. That's such a wild way to play. I did not expect this to go anywhere, but somehow it worked out fine. Two, one, go. Are you joking? The wall that is cracked. I don't understand. Three, two, one, go. This is insanity. Okay, now you just show it off. Jesus Christ. Yahoo! Yahoo! Does she make that noise? What is wrong with you? Blood Moon Raiden? Last minute, but had no idea what I could cook up before, but then today finally did cook something up with a character that can't cook herself. This build is C0 Raiden friendly, because even though he has C3, all of the three cons are for her burst damage, and they never use their burst. Welcome to my Blood Moon Raiden showcase. It's a showcase of pyro-infused non-burst charge attack vape Raiden Shogun. Why the name Blood Moon Raiden? Her charge attack is in the shape of a moon. And with Pyro, it's red. Balls. Okay, here we go. Oh, oh, oh. Couldn't get the swirl fully. Okay, that's what. Wait, this is kind of insane. It's hard to focus with all of the effects on the screen. Uh, is she doing like 91k there? 94k? Bro, what? 
She was hitting 94 Ks. Okay. Ninety K again without abyss buffs. Ninety nine. The way Raiden is supposed to be played, at least for me. One hundred and twenty-five. One hundred and twenty-nine. One hundred and thirty-two K. Fucking insane. Oh my god, it does look like a blood moon. Wait, that's so giga brain. Oh, that's cool. The damage Tomo tried to parry rip balls. Oh my god, Bob, what is this? What is this? Kazu Ha builds, but they get increasingly more unhinged. Gilded Kazu. Alternative of hybrid Kazu, more DPS orientated than VV hybrid, surprisingly similar damage output than normal DPS Kazu. Interesting, really? But he triggers so many reactions. Oh, look. Jesus. Freeze Kazu. Wait, what? 300 crit damage Kazu Ha. Cryo Resin Rosaria raises crit rate to almost 80%. This was supposed to be a slot for Cryo Infusion Kazu, but you didn't like how it felt and your Chongyu sucks. It's pretty good. The others are better, but that's more crack. But it's still good. I think it had less attack overall, right? C6 Bennett overwrites C6 Kazuwa Infusion, which allows this to be very easy to achieve. Cracked if done correctly, but I don't own C6 Bennett. <laughs> Actually not based. You should just C6 Bennett. Okay. Let's have a look. You don't have it? You should just get it. He's on the banner now. Holy... Bro, what? Why did that hit specifically do so much more damage than every other hit? I'm so confused. You don't know? YouTube comments, let me know. Salad Kazu Heart. Oh god, I hate it here, dude. Salad Kazu is probably going to be one of the better ones out of these crack builds for, like, actually being useful and good. Salad is, is just incredible to use. It does so much, dude. It, it does the work for you. Oh my god, look at that. Yeah, I mean, that's nuts. Zubi's Kazuha. Attack speed based build. Jean C2, Yoon Jean C2, Chong Yoon E Ascension passive. Chong Yoon E Ascension passive. What? That gives you attack speed? 8%? Skyrider Sword. The damage is irrelevant, she says. Okay, it's just the attack speed we should focus on. That's so stupid. That's kind of ridiculous. Three weeks later. So we're on high rolls, I think, right now. This is a Kokomi with 98.9 .9 crit rate. <laughs> Oh, I kind of wish I was kidding, dude. The comment said she does more DPS than Dare. I don't know about that, but we'll see. I guess. Wait, this Coco kind of slaps, dude. I didn't expect that. This Coco slaps. Wait, 1.8k attack, 22k HP, 28.9 crit rate, 125 crit damage. Okay, so what? Is this... Wait, is this a, is this a Coco with four pieces? No. Show the artifacts. Lost prayer. Okay. <laughs> it's a four-piece Blizzard Coco, dude. <laughs>
that's actually so cracked. Hey, that's so based of you. That is so based of you. That is the ultimate crit Kobe. Oh my god, the artifacts are so good too. That's wild. That was C0 too? C0? Okay, that's a, that's a meme build, but that is a solid meme build. As you can see by the title of this one, kind of barely, this is a physical Yulan because I crowned her autos. Did you crown that by accident? Okay, let's see what a physical Yulan can do, I guess. Oh god. What? Yoimiya who? That is actually ridiculous. Thundering Pulsar R3. Two-piece Fizz, two-piece Hydro. Wait, you're telling me that this can go even higher? That's ridiculous. You could just do another two-piece Fizz, right? And it'd be even better. And then you said overall step. Oh, oh, these are the overall stats. What? <laughs> Wait, that was only C1? Which doesn't even affect the- Oh my god. That's a viable build. That's insane, dude. That's actually cracked. This is a, a video called Fireball. This took five hours. Sorry, I got no more crowns and you don't do pyro damage. What do you mean he don't do pyro damage? Obviously he does. Oh, they meant Ushi. Oh. But you called it Fireball. This is misinformation, dude. You should have called it Pyroni. Just fucking hire me next time, for fuck's sake. Jesus Christ. You're ridiculous and I love it. Holy shit, dude. That's insane. 103k pyro Etho, dude. I'm calling it Pyroni, okay? I'm calling it Pyroni. Wait, someone said Shatter Razor. To be honest, this was just Hyper Bloom Razor on a freeze team, but let's not talk about that. Oh, dear Lord. It's 966 EM. Oh, God. Cause, oh, yeah, because Shatter scales on EM, which I didn't know until a while back. Wait. Okay, I might be dumb as hell here. Where's the shatter damage? <laughs> Is that it? The 14k? 17k? 17k. God damn, not bad. Yeah, it's an interesting one. Shadow's hard to see as well, dude. Shadow's hard to see for a reaction, I'm not gonna lie. The ultimate endgame experience. Bear in mind that Yunjin isn't even C2, nor is she C6. Thus, the animal domain is used to cover these weaknesses alongside the absence of C C6 Mika. Oh, who let Clinton cook? 2,000 attack Mika. Staff of home. <laughs> two-piece glad, two-piece bloodstained. Triple crown. Jesus Christ. I want to see this in action, though. I want to see this in action. Go. Let's keep going, team. Ha! Huh. Again, but without using Albedo. Because the damage is too high with him. Let's keep going, team. Precision strike. Yeah, yeah. 32k. I feel like instead of Albedo, you just use Zhongli here, right? Because Zhongli would also reduce resistances, but give you a shield. Very fucking cool. Holy shit. That is very cool. Pyro Ayaka. How do you play with these filters, dude? Oh my god. Is this NVIDIA filters? I can't see. I feel like it's a horror game. I played in the dark. Oh god. 
Jesus Christ. Who the fuck said C6 Bennett ruins Ayaka? 87 over 220? That is interesting. And there's another one as well, which is what? Against the Dendral Chicken? Jesus Christ. Jesus! That is some crazy shit. My God, GG. That's a fun build. This is Vape Nilu. And I kind of want to watch this because they said, some people won't see this as a meme, but I built Vape Nilu as a meme anyway to annoy my meta friends. I assume by meta friends, you mean the, the people that are like, you can't play Nilu any other way than the double hydro double dandro. Can I'd play it with Dilute, dude. No cap. This is a four fucking second clip, dude. How am I supposed to... That was a fucking high hit. 418k, but I love how she falls dead. <laughs> you reverse that shit? Looks like she's being abducted by aliens. Look. Oh, no, I can't. Bob, edit that. Edit that in the video. Looks like nearly has been abducted by aliens, dude. Woo. <laughs> this is what HB does to people? That's nuts. What was the first hit there? 342k and then 418k, dude. That's wild. Okay, we have a Virgin Beto. Okay, hold on. It looks like there's more spread and bloom and burning reactions going on than than Virgin. This is a cool build. But I don't know if it's too Virgin. Doing 34k. Yeah, there's a couple of virgins going on for sure, but I'm seeing like spread and then bloom and then a virgin, then an aggravate. It's a, uh, it, yeah, it's many reactions, but it's still a fucking interesting build, dude. What am I reading right now on this build, dude, for Malin? Healer Wanderer. At <laughs> Healer, Wanderer, and off-field DPS Yoimiya. I made my favorite characters work in one team, kinda. Since the self-damage is a bit annoying, Wanderer has been chosen to be the healer. Hmm. I mean, it do be doing the heels. It do be doing the heels, dude. The characters are all full of off from Tartag now. Wait, I have a question though. Is it really off field DPS Yoimiya or is it just burst Yoimiya? <laughs> burst support. Wait, how, wait, how is it still doing burgeons? Wait, is it off field? I'm confused. I don't understand the Yoimiya is still doing burgeon reactions while off field. I don't get it. Her ult explodes. Yeah, I know her ult explodes. I didn't realize it applied a damage over time, dude. What? Her Q is like Dea's E? Maybe in that one instance, kinda. Kinda. That's why I want a C4. It lowers the skill cooldown when it explodes. Huh? That's so fucking cool. Holy shit. That build is actually pretty interesting. You know what? We date those. Yeah, fun, fun build. GG, Malin. B G BG? GG. Since I got C6 Bennett, I wanted to do this team. It's basically Thundering Furry, but with Electro main character. Okay, what is this? 15 k What are the... I, uh, whoa, 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 hold on. What is the random ass 15k fizz that's going on here? Oh, the blessing. The abyss buff. Okay, so we ignore the, the random 15ks. Let's have a look at the rest of it. The hyper blooms. 14k, 14k, 16k, 35k, 35. Thundering Ferret with EMC. It's a lot of fun. Very similar to the Virgin Beto. But this is dipping into literally everything you possibly can. This is pretty interesting, dude. I'm seeing so many different reactions going off here. Then we have Ayaka Hyperfridge. Oh, God. Oh, 
11 k takes on the oh my lord the amount of seeds did okay i gotta see how quick this destroys shields with dendro and ayaka did this has got to be stupid right this is this will be almost instant probably disgusting and that my friends is all of the meme build suggestions so far so thank you for submitting your meme builds when this ends up on the youtube as well if you want to see more of this kind of stuff feel free to let me know and and let people know down in the comment section